In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to create this particle logo effect using Adobe After Effects. And the plugin I'm using is Particular by Red Giant. Put in any logo and the same effect should be on it as well. Now the template for this we have is in our description for the Patreon members. And you also can just replace text and the same effect will be applied to it. Now let's delete all this and start from scratch. So first thing I want to do is I want to create uh, the main comp right here, main comp. Now I'm going to drag in any logo of your choosing, and then I'm just going to drag it into a new comp right here. And then I want to create another comp, and I'm just going to call it emitter. Now I want to drag my comp logo and just drag it in here, scale it down. Now when I click on this logo and click on the mask, I'm just going to draw something like this. And then I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to bring up the mask path. And I'm going to put a timestamp here. And then I'm just going to move over to like maybe two seconds. And then I'm going to go back. And I want to move this whole mask wiping across it. Now if I want the keyframes to be vice versa, I'm going to right click and do time reverse keyframes. And here we have this so far. Now I want to hit F on my keyboard to feather it out a little. Maybe put it to 50. Now after this is complete, I'm going to go to my main comp up here and I'm going to drag in the emitter and then I'm going to right click new solid and I'm just going to name this particular and then I'm going to go to effects and presets and I'm just going to drag on particular. Now this plugin is in the link in our description if you want to get it. Now with particular, I'm going to go to the emitter and this is going to be set on here and the particle amount I'm going to set to like 10,000 for now. Emitter type, I'm going to set to box briefly because I want emitter size to be this one, the individual one, and I want to set these all to 50. Now I'm going to go back to emitter type and I'm going to select layers and that's going to bring up this layer emitter here. And what this does is it gets the emitter and it puts it into particles. So I'm going to click here and click on my emitter and right here it's not working because we didn't make this comp right here a 3D object. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to make this a 3D object. And then when I redo it, it should be working. And here we have this so far. Now I'm going to turn off this so I can just focus on the particles for now. And now if we scroll down, we go to particles. I want the life to be like maybe 1.5. I want the size to be random. And I want the size over life. I want to go to the presets. And I want to have it like fading in and out. Opacity over life, I want to do the same type of thing where it fades in and fades out. Now this looks like it needs some more particles, so I'm going to go back and probably put another zero on here. Now this is what you should have so far. Now the next step is we want these particles to move more to the side. So I'm going to go back to particles. I'm going to go all the way down to physics. And I want to set the air resistance to one, not the gravity. And for the wind, I want it to be 100. So now it's moving more to the side. And then for the shading, I want to not turn this on. I want to turn these two bottom on. And this is going to give it some more shading details, some shadows. And if you want to adjust the shadows in here or the color of the shadows, you can just adjust it like this. Now for After Effects logo, I like mine being white. Now the last effects in here I want to use is Turbulent right here, Turbulence Force. And I want to affect the position. So each of the particles are going in different positions. Maybe set it to 100. Now here's what we have so far. Looking a lot more better than the last one. Especially with those details. Next step is to reveal the logo. So I'm going to go to my emitter. I'm going to command copy this. I'm going to go back to my main comp. Just paste this logo in right here. And I don't want it to animate on. Hit M on my keyboard to delete the mask. And then I want to put it under the particles. And now I'm going to type in linear wipe right here. Just going to drag it on, go to the beginning. And I'm going to hit a timestamp right here. Hit you on my keyboard to see my timestamp. And now I want this to reveal on. So I need this to be minus 90 if I want to reveal it on like this. Let me switch over. So here we have it revealing on and I want the feather to be around like maybe 50 or more just eyeball it 
and now I want to align it up with the particles now after it's aligned up you should have this really cool looking animation and to get even more detailed with it you can go in here and you can put a drop shadow on your particles right here and then I want the softness to be probably like 50 opacity probably 40 right here and now we can see a little bit more detail going on. And here we have it. I hope you like this tutorial. And remember, template is in our Patreon if you want to just drag in any logo you want. And here's a bonus to make it look even more abstract and cool. Just throw a glow on it right here of your liking. Choose some colors. And the particles are in its separate layer. So you can pretty much do whatever you want with them.